The mosque has been a hub of the relief effort as people gather together to gather funds to do what they can to, to, to help Pakistan. And thus far, the, the Scottish population uh, have collected more than £4 million, which is a huge effort. Uh, and the Scottish Government are donating uh, over a million pounds, both in terms of emergency aid and, and also the development work, which is really, really important, because long after the floods subside, there's going to be a huge extent of people who have been displaced from the land and, and the range of difficulties and poverty. Uh, so this is a collective effort from the people of Scotland uh, to help uh, our brothers and sisters in Pakistan. So I'm delighted to, to be here and to support the efforts that have been made by the community itself uh, to help the Pakistani people. Well, I think the international effort has been very positive. Uh, I think there was perhaps a slow start because people perhaps didn't realise the epic scale of the, of the flooding disaster. I think the Secretary General of the United Nations described it as a slow tsunami. Uh, but as people recognised the impact, then people have responded. Now, Scotland always responds with an open heart, even in tough times. Uh, but I think the international effort has been very good. And uh, perhaps uh, one of the things that comes out of a a disaster on this scale as it brings people together in a common effort that's reflected certainly here in the Islamic community in Scotland but it's reflected in many many countries. On behalf of Islamic Relief I would like to thank the Scottish Government. This is not the first time that the government is supporting relief effort and development work <clears throat> in Pakistan. Recently uh, we uh, received substantial amount of money from the government for development work in Pakistan and now Today, to receive uh, further funding for emergency work is, uh, it shows that the Scottish government and the Scottish people are standing shoulder to shoulder with uh, the flood victims in Pakistan. I'm heading back uh, on Saturday, two days from now, and uh, my purpose of this visit is to go and witness the impact of the donations, the Scottish generosity which people have shown here, what difference that is making to the lives of ordinary uh, people uh, in, in the floods and uh, give some feedback to the Scottish community.